Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you my beef stew made in the slow cooker with some gluten-free dumplings. It is absolutely delicious. I have tried many beef stew recipes and there was always something missing and the last time I made beef stew, I really played with the recipe, um, just added a lot of things and I made sure I wrote it all down so I could share with you guys and this beef stew is very good it has great flavor the beef cooks really tender and then I make some dumplings the ones that I make are gluten-free but you can easily make a regular dumpling if you don't eat gluten-free and um, I will try to remember to include a recipe for um, dumplings if you don't eat gluten-free now I won't um, be able to try that recipe but um, I will try to find something similar for you guys just in case um, you don't eat gluten-free but you still want to try this recipe you can make the beef stew without the dumplings if you um, would like that also so um, definitely you can still enjoy this recipe if you don't eat gluten-free so first I'm going to show you everything that goes into the beef stew. It's actually very easy because you basically just um, cut your meat, um, cut your vegetables, and um, put everything in the slow cooker. So very easy but so much flavor and it's delicious. So you are going to need one and a half to two pounds of beef stew meat. I always cut mine in half because usually when you buy beef stew meat in a package it's in like big um, chunk so I just cut it in half you're going to need two medium potatoes and you're going to peel and cut those into cubes about an inch um, thick then you're going to need two large carrots and you'll peel and slice those you'll need two stalks of celery and you're going to slice those you'll need two cloves of garlic and you will mince those and then a half of the onion and you'll just want to slice that You'll need two bay leaves, a can of chopped tomatoes, a 14 and a half ounce can. You'll need one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. You will need one cup of beef broth. And then you can add red wine. Um, I use a quarter of a cup. I um, just have this red cooking wine on hand, so this is what I use. But if you have red wine in your home, then um, you could just add that, or you could buy this. It's only a few dollars just to keep on hand for certain recipes. And then I usually add um, about a half teaspoon or so of salt. I have my vegetables all set to go. I have my two potatoes cut into about one inch pieces. I sliced my two carrots, sliced my celery, minced my garlic, and sliced my onion. And then everything is just going to go right in the slow cooker. I have all of my ingredients for my beef stew in my slow cooker, and I'm going to cover it and cook it on high for five hours. Just a note, you do not need to drain your tomatoes. You'll want the juice from your tomatoes as well. And once it's done cooking, you'll think thicken it up with a little bit of cornstarch and water and then you'll make your dumplings. My beef stew has cooked for five hours and it smells wonderful. It is snowing here like crazy so it was nice to come home to this for dinner. I am going to add a cornstarch and water mixture. It's two tablespoons of cold water and one tablespoon of cornstarch and you can just stir that in and that will thicken it up. As I mentioned at the beginning, I'm going to make gluten-free dumplings and they are very easy to make. I'm going to use this uh, King Arthur's gluten-free baking mix because it's just brown rice flour and it already has the tapioca starch and everything in it. Now if you um, don't eat gluten-free and you want to make a dumpling, I'll try to find a recipe for a dumpling that's similar. You can't, at least to my knowledge, um, just use a regular um, baking mix and then add everything that I'm going to add. There's just a little bit different chemistry. So for my gluten-free viewers, um, this this will be a gluten-free dumpling and then I will try to include a recipe for a regular dumpling that will be similar. So what you'll need is three quarters of a cup of this King Arthur's gluten-free um, baking mix. You'll need a half teaspoon of baking powder, a third of a cup of milk, 
you're going to need two tablespoons of butter and you're going to melt those. You'll need one large egg and then a tablespoon of chopped fresh parsley and a tablespoon of chopped fresh ch chives. And you'll just mix everything together once you melt the butter. Next, you're going to drop eight dumplings into your beef stew. And um, it already has the cornstarch mixture in it, so it's um, beginning to thicken. And it will continue to thicken as the dumplings are cooking. So you'll just do eight small dumplings and then cover it and cook it for an additional 15 to 20 minutes. This is what your beef stew and dumplings will look like when it's finished, and it's really good, so I hope you will give this recipe a try. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you so much for watching.